Hello everyone and welcome back to our video. Today we'll be doing for loop. So basically for loop is another loop after while loop that is very commonly seen in any programming. Okay, so for loop is actually one of the more powerful loop that you can use when you are in certain situation. But don't worry because in Tinkercad it will be rather simple. So we'll start with something very simple. First, when you go into the exercise, change the exercise name to exercise 4.4. After that, as usual, we'll just put in an, an Arduino and a breakboard. Connect the ground first, and then we'll do something very simple. This time, we'll just use one LED. So it's a very simple example. Remember to connect the 200 ohm to the LED. Okay, you can change the LED color to anything you like. Okay, then connect the other side to one of the PWM leg, which means 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, one of those 6. Afterwards, that's all for our circuits bit. Let's go to the code bit. Now, a for loop is basically something called count up in the control section. What you basically do is that it will give you a variable directly, usually called i or j or so on if you have multiple one. You can count the value from up, which is bigger number, to, uh, sorry, smaller number to bigger number or count it down from bigger to smaller. You can set the minimum value and the maximum value here. Minimum, maximum, and then this is the difference in each value, which means if you have 1 from 1 to 10, it will start with 1, then increase by 1 each time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until it reaches 10. So let's say if you change this to 0, change it to 100, and then change this to 2, it will start with 0, then 2, 4, 6, 8, so on, until 100. So that's how the for loop works, okay, in a simple sense. So what we can do is that we can start with 0, until it reaches 255 and increase by 1 each time so that we can use it to control our PWM. So on our output, we use set pin 11 to this number. We will need to go to variable. You will have seen that the variable has already been created here. Put the variable in. So we will now set the pin to a value that increased from 0 to 255. Then afterwards, we will need to set the weight value so that you will be, it will take a bit of time to increase the value. But we don't want it to put 1 second because that will be 255 seconds before it reaches maximum brightness. Let's change this to a value like for example 0.02. So it will take about 5 seconds to reach maximum brightness. So let's start. So we will see that the brightness will gradually increase until you reach some maximum brightness, then go back to zero. What it will do is that it will start counting from zero to 255. Once it reaches the maximum, it will go back to zero. So if you now stop the simulation and use and click to block bus text, you'll notice that it's actually basically a for loop. Okay? That's the for loop in the Arduino. So that's how you can utilize your for loop in a very simple way. So this is a simple example of for loop and next week we will go more into how we can use for loop for something more complicated. So today conclusion. You can use the count up or down function. You can use count up to increase or count down to decrease. Okay. By n which is the differences for i, which is the variable name, from minimum to maximum. Okay, so you can use that function to loop from a smaller value to a bigger value, and then use it, use the value to do your program, or you can also not use it, you can actually use this one to actually simulate repeat x time. But since we have the repeat function, we only use it when we need to use the i for something else. Okay, and this function is basically the for loop in programming. So that's all for today. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And I will see you in our next video. Thank you.